Happy video day guys, Christina Brooke here and today we are doing a make up your mind. So it has been a minute since a brand new palette is releasing that I'm excited for and today's make up your mind you guys are probably excited for too because we have been talking about this little palette for a little while now. Natasha Denona is releasing her pastel palette and apparently this is already available in Europe and some other places, I don't remember where, but apparently they're already selling this. So Natasha is going to announce this probably any day now because Sephora and Selfridges and all these places already have the palette for sale. And actually on YouTube, there is already a few reviews available, which actually I am using some of the swatches from Jenna Phrase because she actually, I believe, is the first person to post a video on this palette. So I am going to have her video linked down below. But in today's video, we do our Make Up Your Mind, which is basically I look through my collection and try to mimic the color story. So by doing this practice, I can kind of get an idea on whether this is a palette that I like. I can look at the different colors and kind of just analyze the color story and just see if this makes sense. You know, should I pick this up? I make an educated guess on whether it's something I should add to my collection or not. And then at the end of the video, I make up my mind and tell you guys whether I will be adding it or not. Now, I think you guys know this, but I do have my one year um, challenge that I'm gonna be buying everything Natasha Denona and I'm gonna be buying this palette most likely anyways. I do have one card that I can pull to not pick something up from her and I'm not sure we'll see if this will be the palette that does not come home with me but let me not get ahead of myself because honestly guys I usually pick up everything anyways but let's go ahead and let's start this video I'm gonna go ahead and find all of these colors in my collection if you guys have found this palette yourself don't forget to leave your comments down below of what palettes you feel mimic this color story the best as well but yeah subscribe if you haven't already Let's get into it. Okay, so before I start showing you guys what I have come up with, I do have my <laughs> notes right here. The first thing that I do wanna tell you guys is this is a MIDI, M-I-D-I. Sometimes I say MIDI and everybody thinks I'm saying mini. This is a MIDI palette, which means it's the $65 palette. So it's not the bigger palettes, it's the smaller size. I think that that was very smart of her because the color story, to be honest, guys, not really something that I think the people are going to be like, yes, I need to wear that all the time, you know? So a midi size was probably a really smart idea. Now, I also wanna tell you that there is two repeat shades from Tropic, okay? So actually from Tropic and actually from Jubilee. So if you guys got the BoxyCharm Jubilee palette, there's two shades that are repeated, Mint Frost and Lemoncello. They are also from the Tropic palette. If you have the mini Tropic, then you also have one of the shades, which is Mint Frost. So it does look like Natasha still is repeating a lot of shades from Tropic. I don't know. The Tropic never goes away. We've got more Tropic in this palette. Okay, so there's 15 shades, guys. So of course, I'm going to use multiple palettes to get this color story. And in this case, I have to because honestly, this color story, this color pattern, it really is a chaotic color pattern. It's kind of like Circle Loco style where everything is kind of like loco. So I did have to jump into a few palettes. I jumped into the Trio Chrome from Natasha. I jumped into Circle Loco, as well as this Koki Artist palette. It's the Utopia palette. And then of course, like I said, the Jubilee is going to give me those two colors from Tropic. Um, I have the Carly Bible palette here, and then two of my um, Angelica Nick Feast collaborations. So I have the Hella palette from Odin's Eye, and also the Club Nebula from Kaleidos. So that is how I came up with the color story. I was using basically all of those palettes. Like I said, very chaotic color story here. Not something very cohesive at all. So we are going to have more palettes than usual. They're cutting the grass. <laughs> All right, so for the very first color, what I did was I jumped into Trio Chrome and I jumped into this color called Ion. Now, I do think that the one in the new palette might actually be a little bit brighter than this color, but, you know, I decided that it's gonna be something similar to this, guys. Like, it's gonna have a similar vibe to that color. So I decided to just go with that. If it is a little lighter, I mean, to be honest, it's the color I put on my lids today. I don't see how it's gonna look too much different from this color. I just don't see it. So maybe it's gonna be a tad different, but honestly, this looks already kind of like the vibe like of what I am seeing this palette looks like. 
Um, for the next one, I jumped into Jubilee. So this is where we grab the mint frost color, which is actually a beautiful, beautiful color. If you guys don't have mint frost, this is one of Natasha Denona's beautiful shades. Like, I love this. It was probably a star from the Tropic palette. It was a star in the Jubilee palette. It was a star <laughs> inside of her mini Tropic palette. So we know we like this shade. I don't know if we like it enough to have so many of it in so many palettes, especially if you're somebody who has a few of these. Like literally now I will have three things of mint frost. All right, so for the next color, Natasha Denona, and I jumped in Circle Loco, and I grabbed this color called Fun to Mine. Now I know that this color is going to be a tad bit lighter in the new palette. Like this color does not match up perfectly. But one thing that I think is kind of important when it comes to these type of shades is like if the hue is just a tad bit off, guys, on the lids, it may not make such a big difference. Like I cannot see this blue being so different that it's gonna make a big difference, but we shall see. Um, for the next one, what I did was I jumped into the new Angelica palette. So this is the Hella from Odin's Eye. And I jumped into color Hella. So this looks so similar. We think that this color is gonna be pretty spot on. It might be a little bit lighter in the new pastel palette, but I do think it's gonna give like a very similar vibe. I will also point out that like, kind of like looking at this little color story right here, it's reminding me of Circle Loco vibe. You know, at least with those pinks and the blues, you know, like pink and blue vibe, like we kind of have something similar to that in Circle Loco, but we still got a lot more to go. So the next one, what I did was I jumped into Carly Bible. And that's just because it looks like it's a very muted down pink. And I jumped into this color called Boy. Now, some of these are going to be dual chromes. And I would not be surprised if this was one that was going to be a dual chrome because in the swatch, it just looks like a very light pink. And I feel like this palette is going to give us like a little surprises in the colors. And that looks like just a little too boring. So I think that that's going to be a dual chrome or at least something that shifts colors. Pretty pink, very light, it looks nice. Is it anything out of this world? Actually, not really. So if I look at the first few shades, to be honest, like it's a cool color story, but like these colors together, kind of strange to wear together. So then when we go into the next one, what I did was I jumped into Circle Loco again and I jumped into Snow Cone. So Snow Cone is actually one of my favorite colors in Circle Loco. I love this color, I think it's so cool. Um, I think it's gonna look similar to this color. It does look like it's gonna be a nice light blue. It might even be a tad lighter than this, like a little bit more snowy, icy, but overall something like this. I think that this one here um, from the Tropic has a little bit of like a green. It's like a minty color. And this one is gonna be a little bit more like bluish. So you are gonna see a difference in undertone there. Um, how much of a difference? I'm not really sure. Then I jumped right back into the Hella palette and I jumped into the color called Goddess. So Goddess is where? So Goddess is this like hot pinky color. Now I will be honest. I feel like a lot of palettes have something similar to this, and this one swatches deeper than it looks in the pan. Um, I actually think that the new palette may be a little bit more purple based, so it actually might be a even better pink than this pink. I'm not quite sure about that, but I think so. So it just for color tone and be able to see, it's gonna be along these lines, but I do believe it's gonna be maybe just a tad bit, I think it's gonna be a tad bit deeper, so a little bit more muted down and less vibrant. But when you swatch this one, you know, it's not like super vibrant, so that's why I picked this color. So for the next one, we got another pink, and this is like a lighter pink. I jumped into this Koki Utopia palette with this beautiful pink right here. So it is a lighter pink. It's not as light as this other pink that's here. It has a little bit more of like that pretty pink color to it. I don't know, I feel like I've seen a lot of pink and blue variations, especially in this portion right here. I feel like we've got a lot going. Like there was a lot of pink and blue variation here. At least the way that Jenna swatched it out, like she did put like a lot of the colored families together where you can kind of see that there's a little bit of a lot going with those pinks and blues, at least right now in my opinion. Next one, what I did was I jumped into the Club Nebula. So the Club Nebula has this color called Nebula. I believe that this color is actually going to be a little bit deeper. Oh, 
than the Nebula. It's going to be deeper than this color. But I kind of looked through my collection for a similar tone that was a little bit darker and I couldn't find anything exact. And honestly, this one's probably going to be the one that's the most off. It's going to be similar to this color, just richer, a little bit more orangey, at least from the swatch. That's what it looks like. And in reality might actually be a little bit nicer. Like now it's starting to shift directions for me a little bit. And I'm like, okay, well now I'm getting some interesting tones, which makes me happy. Cause you guys know I'm not like a big blue person. Like I don't like blue. The next one, what I did was I jumped into Carly Bible and I jumped into the color Sydney. Now I think it's gonna be similar to Sydney. If anything, it's gonna be a muted down version. So imagine this color just like if you go over it a few times and it gets a little bit more pastel-y. <laughs> so that's basically what I did. I just went over it a few times until the color lost a little bit of the pigment and got a little bit more pastel-like. And it's a very pretty color. I, at least this color is something different that I feel like I can mix with some of these other tones because before it was just like pink and blues. <laughs> but for the next one, it was like almost like, hey, I didn't give you enough blue. Let's let's add another one. <laughs> so for this one, when I went into this Koki palette again and jumped into this blue right here, it's the only blue that I have that has a little bit like a stronger accent to it. But like the Sydney one, I'm just going to kind of like sweep it so that it doesn't give me that much pigment because you can tell like this one's going to be like a dusty blue. Um, it's gonna be a vibrant but dusty color, like meaning that it doesn't have like that much like strength to it. So that's how I got that color. I do actually think that that color might be very, very similar. And you know, I'm kind of seeing like a theme here, which we'll get into in a second. Um, the next one is the one that we will have. It's Lemoncello, which is this color right here. If you have Jubilee or Tropic, you own this shade. And you know, it's a very pretty shade. It actually, I've kind of warmed up to it a little bit more. I didn't love it when I first got that Jubilee palette. But like today, I actually have it on the inner portion of the eyes and I actually kind of like it today. So I don't know, maybe I do like it. But anyways, it's called Lemoncello. It's basically a yellow it's basically a yellow. So for the next one, I went into this Kaleidos um, palette, the Club Nebula, and I feel like it's gonna look similar to this one, You're On My Mind, here on my mind, which is kind of like a purpley, um, very light purple, like lilac y color. And I think it's gonna look super similar to that. So when I swatched it, I was like, okay, well, that's at least the tone. Now I do think that the formula is going to be a little bit different from this formula when it comes to the Natasha one, but at least I can kind of see like a color direction and I'm happy that we're getting like different colors. We're getting a little bit of pastel, like purpley colors and not everything is like the same as it was down here. So it's changing up a little bit. So then it was almost like, yeah, I, I, I just want to give you one more blue. <laughs> So what I did was I jumped into Fun to Mine for this last blue and I mixed it. Seven to nine from Club Nebula because I feel like it has a little bit more of like a blue green look to it, but it's not as bright as the Club Nebula one. So mixing Fun to Mine and the Club Nebula gave me kind of like a greenish bluish kind of color. And I think it looks very similar at the end, but it's another blue. So then for the last color, oh my God, I'm dropping all the palettes. So for the last color, I went into Trio Chrome and I went into this color called Naga, which is kind of like a light purple. And now I'm starting to like, again, I'm like, yay, okay, I wanted like a light purple. And it's like that pastel -y vibe. I like that light purple, but at the same time, I do have a very similar color in the Trio Chrome. So, that kind of rounds out the swatches based off of the swatches that I saw online. I actually did compare these also to Natasha's swatches. I will say that Natasha's swatches, they look a lot richer, like almost like they went over like a few times versus the swatches that Jenna released. But either way, color tone, I feel like very similar because I did compare it also to the palette. I think that I have a pretty good idea of what this palette is going to look like. Here's the thing. <laughs> You guys, I love Natasha. You guys know Natasha is like my number one. Like I love her brand and I don't dislike this palette. I don't dislike it, okay? Um, when it comes to color tones because I'm sure that the quality is gonna be good. You know, um, Circo Loco in my opinion was one of her like stand out colorful palettes. Like, wow, she killed it with that palette. It is chaotic, it is all over the place, but she kind of killed it. But she also did a very similar thing that she's doing to this pastel palette. She put a lot of blues 
in Circle Loco. Circle Loco had a lot of blue and pink in it. If you guys look at it, like it just did. It just had a lot of blue and pink. And it's almost like she did a very similar idea to this pastel palette. She put a lot of blues and pinks just more muted into this palette, which I just don't understand why. Like, does she really like blues and pinks? Was that the idea here? Because I felt like maybe this palette needed to go a little way from the blue and the pinks. I wish we had more color selection. Like, just looking at what I'm seeing here, I wish that we would have had different pastels because this already is kind of chaotic, let's be honest. I don't see anybody grabbing this and using like four colors together unless they want an eye like this. Like if you want like a vibrant looking eye and you really want to go out there with real pastel -y eyes, then like, yeah, I could see you playing with multiple colors in here. But in my opinion, this is going to be one of those palettes that you do an accent with one of the colors and maybe an underlay color and that's about it. Or you're doing a wash of pastel on the lid with a beautiful liner and mascara. Or you have another look that you're doing with a different palette and you bring in this palette for some of the colors. Because I don't see like depth in here. Like this is just like, imagine like a light, light pastel -y palette with really no depth. I was kind of confused with that because I see this and I say, well, there were so many blues in here. Why didn't we get like a few deepening shades just to make it just a tad bit more wearable now they could have been deepening shades similar to like what she did with trio chrome where the deepening shades still kind of like stayed within the family but they were colorful so i'm not saying like deepening shades like browns but like why couldn't we get stuff like this maybe in a deeper tone today this is a look that you could probably recreate i am using a few of the colors that are actually in the palette so lemon cello is on the eye mint frost is on the eye and then this color here is from the angelica palette but it's going to be similar so like this is a look you could probably do what happened to me in this look is i kind of wanted just to deepen out right here like i wanted to add something and when i looked at these colors i was like yeah we're not going to do blue <laughs> we're not going to do pink I needed something like a real deep green. So honestly, I was very excited for the pastel palette, okay? I personally feel like I wish that if she wanted to go in this direction of pastel, that it was just every color of the rainbow in just a pastel. Like, you know, we had so many different pastels in here and it didn't even have to make sense. But not so many pinks and blues is what I'm trying to say. Switch out some of these pinks and blues. So what I'm thinking just based off color story alone and not off quality and all that good stuff because I'm sure the quality might be there. Pastels, I will say, are usually pretty light though. So it's gonna be interesting to see how Natasha Denona does her pastel formula. Hey guys, so I was editing the video and I realized that the last piece of this footage actually got messed up. I don't know what happened, but it does not download, so. I was telling you before that I wasn't 100% sure if everybody is going to like this palette basically from what I can see. I'm going to make up my mind right now and tell you guys that I am going to pick it up, but mostly because I just want to try Natasha Denona's pastel formula. But I personally feel like this is such an add-on palette. It's something that in my opinion, I am probably not going to like to use on its own unless I use one color all over the lid or maybe even two colors and that's about it um a lot of the colors are not cohesive with each other at least not from the images and not from what i found in my collection trying to mimic it there is a really loud bird today why is this bird so loud <laughs> but anyways so i don't know if everybody's gonna like this palette um i do want to pick it up i am going to get it I personally would say that maybe I wouldn't have gotten it, to be honest, since I do have two of the shades and I do feel like it's not the most easy to use palette, like color story wise, I probably wouldn't have gotten it. Like if I was like you guys at home and maybe I own some of these shades, what is wrong with this bird? And maybe I own some of these shades, maybe I would not have picked this up. Like that's just the truth. So I am not sold on this color story, okay? So the color story, not sold on. Will I be getting it? Yes, not sold on the color story. I'm hoping that the formula lives up to um, Natasha Denona quality. That could also make it not that great if it's not. Um, I feel like Circle Loco was fantastic. So if it's anything like Circle Loco, it would be good. 
but yeah i mean i'm not like thrilled i'm not like thrilled like i like the eye look i have on today but i mean it's not really like a go-to kind of looks for me so i don't know i don't know how much i like this let me know down below what you guys are thinking leave me those comments are you guys planning on picking this up are you excited do you have this palette is there colors in this like palette that you think that were not great share your comments down below but yeah so i will be picking it up you will be seen on the channel but i don't know if it's like if i didn't have a youtube channel would i have picked it up probably not so there we go so let's see what it's like in person but anyways those are my thoughts i hope you guys really enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in the next one